What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Internet Voyage here on the Maiden Magic. On you know what? Forget it. This is Hat Mike, otherwise known as Nick. Hello. And we have a few stipulations in the queue. One is for stacks cards, which we tried to do yesterday. One is for green, <clears throat> black planeswalkers, prioritizing pernicious deed and never rolls disc. And one is uh, super friends, minimum four colors, minimum eight planeswalkers. Uh, unfortunately, this pack does not look... We're not sure which one to do because we don't want to ruin any of them by like saying we're going to do one and then not getting the cards for it. Yeah. So we wanted to open a pack and see what we'd get. And um, All right. unfortunately, this is not... There's a kid cutting track there. <laughs> Um, All right, how about this? One fresh beard lines bug. <laughs> Kerwin, thanks so much, buddy. Appreciate it. How about this? Go on. All I'm right. listening. I'm listening. We got this pack right here. We got it right here. All right, we have a Tezzeret in here. We do have which that. Which can go well with four color planeswalkers. Not, it's not great, it's but not hear me great. out. It can it's go with stacks. stacks. All right. All right, we're going to try the stack stack again. We're going to take the Tezzeret. I like where your head's at there. Yeah, like this way, like we're still kind of like... Cause even if he's grabbing signets and he's making signets guys that can kill people, he's still, it's, it's still an artifact. It's still yeah. a planeswalker. Yeah. Oh, what what goes good in the smokestack stack? Probably smokestack. I imagine. I'm gonna take the smokestack. Yeah. I think we're doing it. Yeah. That's I would, a good I would like pick. to see that Rashad and Port come back, but that's not. That is also a stack card. I was worried about that. I was worried that today would be frankly. <laughs> That's sarcasm, Tron. I like that. Maybe I'll. Uh, I should just wait more often. Then I can just get them 500 bits every day. Uh, that's a good. That's a good strategy. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Mm. So, did you see the Mountain Dew on the green screen? What is that? It's invisible elixir. It's amazing. Frankly, it was concerning. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I am familiar with your your antics, my friend. All you need is hat Mike. Hat hey, Mike. hey, so salty ninety. And Frank Mike. <laughs> Regards from Germany. Oh, did you have another burrito yet? Man, give him some time, dude. You can't just. It was just. Yeah, you're right. You can't just ask if the man's cramming burritos down his his throat. Why can't I? Because that's rude. Is it? Yeah. I feel like you should be cramming burritos down your throat. All right. Uh, there's. There's very few stacks cards here. Yeah. Armageddon is Armageddon a stacks card? Yeah, I mean, kind of. Like it we we up. get a bunch of land, we get a bunch of artifact lands. I'm, we're gonna take this. Yeah. It is land destruction. They're like yeah, the step is no fun. It's it's prioritizing land destruction, it, the abyss. Yeah, Armageddon is. Yeah. So salty. You take your time, buddy. You get that burrito whenever you want. Oh, here here's the Armageddon number dose. Yeah. And we just take all the artifact removal or artifact mana, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're we're playing the the mean boy deck. I wonder if this will come back and we just take this. Uh, so Armageddon was passed to us. Like, there's a lot of red in this, but I don't know. Oh, I I should actually probably do the. I should update yeah, the stick. Probably help that. People are like, what are you doing? We already have Armageddon, so like. Taking Sphinx and Steel Wind doesn't seem terrible. Especially then, if we get, like, a Tinker. Yeah, and then if we get Ravages of War back, like, that's just bonus. Ooh. Moat is Staxy. Yeah, that's pretty Staxy. It's also very, it's very hard to deal with. Yeah, and we already have a flying creature. Yeah, so. I, I'm going to take the Moat. This is this deck is doing everything I want to do right now. Uh, Well, I, we kind of missed on this one, right? Like, this the pack's kind of just... Whatever. In terms of stacks, yes, but there's still some good cards. Banishing Line and Gideon are both very good. Do, do we want to try and go uh, four color planeswalker stacks deck? No, 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 <laughs> no, get, no. Get, get the two for one, knock them both out. Here's look. This is a planeswalker. Oh, hey, planeswalker. It's it's either Gideon or Banishing Light. Um, I kind of like Gideon. Gideon Armageddon, and then you just get to keep a Gideon yeah, on board. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. It's funny because I'm looking at this and I'm like, we only have a Tezzeret and a Smokestack right now, but then we have Gideon, Moat, Armageddon, and it's like, yeah, this is pretty. It's still this good. This is pretty Staxy. I, I feel like that Ravages is going to come back. No one's going to take that card. What's up, Spencer? Good seeing you, buddy. Always a pleasure. Also, we're probably just going to open Lotus Mox Mox, so I'm, I wouldn't yeah, really I wouldn't really worry too much about it. Um. Oh, there's Bone Shredder. True name, Nemesis. This guy doesn't have flight no but it's still very very good yeah 
Uh, there's like kind of nothing. Like I, I kind of want to take the baleful strix to like just be a guy that we grab with Tezzeret. I don't know how heavy black we are though. I don't know how heavy blue we are, but it is an artifact, and we're playing Tezzeret. Yeah, like I feel bad passing this guy though. This guy's very good. He is very good, but I think it's this guy. All right. I think, think it's just so much stronger. Tanguar. Tanguar. Oh Tanguar. my goodness gracious, dude. <laughs> this is great. I mean, this is better than any other cards, right? Just in case we get like a way to... It's like, a... we're going to make a lot of mana ideally, so... Mirror Angel is pretty good with stacks. Is it? Yeah, because like you, you get your land drops and then you make a token and then like... You That's have... literally just what the card does. Yeah. And that, like, but Smokestack is, like, making you sacrifice stuff, so... Port well, City, boy! What happened? Why is that still it's in not, the It's not great in the cube. I guess, but... You're you're thinking that everyone else appreciates this as much as our specific deck does? Yeah, I they guess. They don't. I guess, but, like, Port's a really good card. Your, your mom's a really good card? Got him! Uh, did you get me? I don't, I don't really feel got. You got got. Mm -hmm. There are so many people streaming right now? Is that true? I don't know what that means. It's just you and me. We're, we're the only people. Tide Hollow Scully. Yeah. That's a good dude. Nailed it. Look at that. We're smart. See, this is why you just take a better pick, because then no one's going to take yeah. this card anyway. Yeah, people are like, I don't want all the lands blow up. I need those. I don't want to play this card. <clears throat> Whatever. I'll just take a Progenitus in case we get some shenanigans. Like, if they Eureka us, we'll just board in Progenitus. Ooh. Then what do you do? Nothing. Oh, we we just hope no. we just hope to have a uh, progenitus. Oh, we got some hat mic hype. Oh, hat mic hype. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it, Valley Man. All you need is hype, hype. Yeah. Hat mic hype's all you need. Yeah, that's good with our smoke stack. They're gonna put that in the six spot, aren't they? God, it's probably a four spot. Is oh yeah, it's a good smoke stack, and it's good with uh, opposition when we get that. So yeah, because we're gonna get opposition. This deck is like mono playables right now. Underground C might be the best pick in this pack. Yeah. <clears throat> um. I love. Yeah, I, I would. I Archmage would say is, take a land. At yeah. This point. Archmage is great. But we have no fixing right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Underground C. Braids would be great. So would Bitter Blossom. If we can get Bitter Blossom Braids, that's really where I want to be. All you need is love. Grim Monolith. That's, I mean, that's pretty staxy. That's real staxy, right? Yeah, that's super staxy. It's there's, the staxiest thing I've ever there's seen. Also, Crucible Worlds. That's kind of staxy. I mean, if we get if we get strip mine, it's staxy. Yeah. But I think this is just good in anything. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Exactly, indeed. Also, I wouldn't mind an Inkwell Leviathan for some shenanigans. I feel like there's going to be some shenanigans going on here. Yeah, we could get Inkwell Leviathan, and then uh, once Tezzeret's up to nine, we can just we get Inkwell. Turn it, yeah, we well once it's. We, we can, can turn, turn it into 5-5s, five five. Five yeah. God, the, that synergies of Tezzeret are just real high. Yeah. Put you guys over here for now. Braids was in the same pack as Tanglewire, and we didn't see it? Crap. Oh mm. my god. It's like library, right? It's 100% yeah, library, but it, boy, it feels weird passing. I, I think one of these might come back. Oh god. We're gonna get, we're gonna get a Signet, and that's, that's gonna be what we're happy with i mean yeah it's got to be library 100 percent, 1000 percent library i think hat mike is the product of swole mike and mike b doing the sand fusion dance huh how many mics can fit into that streaming room of yours we should try to get all of them in there for a cube draft it's just a room full of mics yeah we got we got hat mike we got swole mike we got mike mike are you frank mike are you a product of a fusion dance did, I, did you guys fuse <clears throat> No comment. Is this animate dead here? They're going to be sacking things with smokestack. Yeah, and then we're taking it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can't... I can't. I, I don't think it's Smuggler's it's, Copter, because we're not going to have that many creatures. It's either animate dead or, like, a land. Like I don't like any of these lands, the lands on our deck. The lands are not on color for us. So. Palancron's bad. Palancron's good. He's just not good here. <gasps> Ooh. 
Also, Marsh Flats is real good for us. I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three cards are coming back. I bet this comes back. You think Winter Orb comes back? I think we take Marsh Flats and Winter Orb comes back. I mean, we do have all the stacks cards, so Winter Orb should theoretically. I'm gonna make risk it. Back it. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Because I think our deck is good. Yeah. If we can get our colors. Porcelain Legionnaire. Yeah, it's an artifact. Yeah. I mean, that's... if that metal worker happens to come back, we and it's can... a two drop. We can turn it into a five five. That's right. Five alive. We could also go turn two porcelain, turn two, turn three true name Armageddon on turn four. And what are they gonna do about that? Probably nothing. Yeah. I gotta I gotta sneeze, man. Sneeze. Where is this biscuit you keep risking things for? I can't tell you that. That's my personal biscuit. I'll never tell. How many biscuits have you uh, received? How dare you ask me that? Okay, I'm sorry. How dare you talk about my uh, biscuit? Is it Enlightened Tutor? Oh, God. I like Hang Back Walker just because of the smokestack, but yeah. I, hang obviously Enlightened Tutor is insane in our deck. Get Moat, Smokestack, Tango Wire, Grimonolith, Animate Dead. Yeah, like I think it has to be Enlightened Tutor. I agree with you, and I don't like it. Can Hat Mike tell us a story? Well, what do you... Ooh, That's Staxi. I like that guy. What story do you want to hear? Give me, give me some context. Give I was hoping this came with. back. I think it's fine. I think it's fine over path. I think we actually want the land here. Yeah, like we, we're we're making them sacrifice all the things. We don't care about their creatures. Playline feels staxy. Yeah, like they can't target us with stupid things. Come on, Winter Orb. We're getting close. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. I am very ready. Believe in the heart of the cards. Armageddon was a mythic in this set? Wow, that's weird. One secret biscuit book. <laughs> the secret biscuit oh, book. We should really assemble Mike Tron for, for stream. I agree with you, but Mike Tron is real hard to assemble. Do, because... we, uh, do we want Gideon of the Trials? Probably. In our uh, in our stacks deck, we, we just beat them with Gideons? Yeah, I think that's actually really good. I think it's better than Double Black, Grim Tutor, or Turnabout, so... Yeah. Tell us a story about your first GP or big tournament. Uh, okay, first GP I went to. Actually, first big tournament was uh, Syracuse Open, Star City Games. I played Tron. Uh, my first round opponent, I beat him. Uh, after this, like, like during the second game, we realized we made a play mistake because he uh, he uh, played played an Anger of the Gods, and I cracked an Oblivion Stone, uh, thinking I would save my worm like tokens. That's not how that works. My worm tokens were still dead. I ended up killing worm tokens, but it was too late. We we'd gone too far. It's too late to save your worm. Uh, game two, I played against someone who had like. Dang. Did not come. Uh, Bermez. I think it's Bainslayer because we have Moat. Okay, yeah, that's fair. And we also have a bunch of three drops. So. Um, round two, I'm playing against someone who has red white stuff. They they had like. I just like this card. They had like a uh, Boros Reckoner, um, and uh, Blood Moons in the main board, and a bunch, like just a bunch of weird stuff. They had Vexing Devil. It was like, it was like a good enough deck to like win some rounds, but not do not, anything impressive. Yeah, not take home the take home the gold. Um, the moment I knew the person was not the best Magic player is um, I, what what are we? Ooh, take that! Yeah. We can grab that with Tezzeret. You can go turn one Lotus, land Armageddon. It's pretty sick. <laughs> wow, both of these in the same pack? There's also the Abyss in here, which we'll get back. We probably will get the Abyss back, I imagine. Also, I love the Abyss with these Planeswalkers, because it doesn't actually... Yeah, like, just... we, we still have a creature that can kill them. Oh, it's got to be one of these two. Also, Trinket Mage, does he, it just gets Lotus at this point, I guess. So, we already have an Underground Sea, right? So, do we want the Flood Strand to fix White Sources? To... Yes, I okay. believe we do. Yeah, because then we can get Plains or Underground Sea. So, Yep, that seems good. Turn 1 Smokestack. OP. Turn 1 Armageddon off Black Lotus would really help your Storm Cow. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Joke's on them. Jace the Mind Sculptor? Uh... The only other card I could see taking over that is Thran Dynamo, right? 
Thran Dynamo or Demonic Tutor. I, I think I'd take Jace over Demonic. Turn one, turn one Jace off Black yeah. Lotus. Yeah, tur- like I think, I think it's gonna be Jace because we have like it's hundred percent Jace. Like we have so much like spike value. When do we get to meet Micah Jawia, who I believe helped early settlers find their way to Hungry Howies? <laughs> Uh, Leovold is pretty staxy, but... There's no way we're playing we're a green, playing, black, yeah, blue green card, card in this deck. Yeah. Oh my god, it's Chase the Mind Sculptor, guys. He's better than all. He's sculpting mines. Uh, fish fish sea turtles for pets? Oh, for pets. Okay. I was like, I'm not... I'm probably not patting any of those. I'd pat a sea turtle. I'd pat a sea turtle, you're right. Um, so for pets, sea turtle. Uh, for pets... Probably also sea turtle. For food, probably fish. Well, I don't think you're eating sea turtle. Yeah, they're they're in danger. Yeah, I, I think I think you're in you're in a weird situation if you're having to eat sea turtle or choosing to eat sea turtle. Uh, I don't know, land tax. Over thirst for knowledge, you think? I don't know. In this artifact heavy deck, I don't know. We can also discard Sphinx and reanimate it with animate dead. All right, that's fair. Yeah, get that get get that card. I don't, get that card. Uh, I don't like Academy. I'm not a big Academy fan. Daze is kind of like denial, yeah, right? It's, I mean, we're crimping their mana, so we can we can probably get away with the Daze. Yeah, I mean, it's either that or like Sensei's. I hate top. I hate top too. Yeah, I'll just take Daze. I like a Daze. Daze for Daze. We have 23 cards. You still get to fit in one card here, and you get to go over there. Oh, Scrubland is nice. That's good. Yeah, I could take this over any of these white cards. Yeah. Oh, Scrubland's great. We can get it with Flood Strand and Marsh Flats. The only thing we need is a Tundra. And then we have... I didn't realize you had an Animate Dad. <laughs> yeah. We got an Animate Dad right here. Yep. Oh. Uber Mike. I like that. Yeah, obviously Top is better with Fetch Lands, but, like, the problem is that, like... We only have two Fetch Lands, right? So... Top gets incrementally better two times during our match if we haven't cracked them before drawing the top. And if we draw them while we have the top. The situations where we're actually where it's gonna get actually better because of fetch lands are so marginal. Uh oh, this pack is stacked, dude. Yeah. Uh Painful Truths, Vindicate, Scarab God, and Council's Judgment are all very, very good. <clears throat> Alright, so we're winning the game with like Sphinx and Vansler Angel and like Gideon. Gideon. So, I, I think we're fine without, like, a Scarab God. As I much, agree. As much as I love Scarab God. Um, I think Council's Judgment does the same work as Vindicate, but Vindicate is also good against lands, which could be relevant. Yeah. It, mm, Four seconds. Yeah, just take Vindicate. All right. it's, it's also not, like, another double white spell. That's, that was also a consideration. Uh, there's mana tithe. Did you see this anguish in making that had the Zergo art on it real quick? I didn't see the Zergo art, no. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Is it mana tithe or is it anguish on making? It's probably anguish on making. I agree. I like mana tithe a lot. Yeah. But I don't know if we're mana tithing here. This deck is real obnoxious. I like Sorcerer's Spyglass. I do too, actually. I think that's actually pretty main deckable even in this format. Yeah. We have to cut something, but hey, Mike. Since when did you start looking all smexy? This is single, Mike. Hopefully, wow. <laughs> Just like when Mox Pearl that passed Mox Sapphire open pack to Black Lotus and then pack their Manicraft, and I still did. Wait, and I still did three. Wait, oh, you still didn't three? I was like, I was like, oh, you still did? Yeah, but I mean, that makes sense that you'd three zero with that deck, right? But then he did not three zero. He, Ooh, the abyss came back. I forgot about that actually. <laughs> I forgot we were getting that bad boy. Inquisition's real good. Oh wow, that's a oh land tax. All right, sure. We have too many playables in our deck. I mean, probably like yeah, yeah. I'll take this. Uh, yeah, guy just take the he's snake for yeah. Just take the snake because he's he's a good guy. That's my favorite. Uh, the abyss doesn't care about artifact creatures, right? Oh, that's good. So lodestone's good. This guy's good. This guy's good. Um, I think we actually just cut this guy for now. Yeah. And maybe we cut Baneslayer? No, actually, we don't have to make any cuts, I guess. This is 23. Uh, do we... 
we don't want the sorceress um in the main yeah do, i don't think so yeah i think we board in if they have some problematic can yeah, i request like, the mardu step definitely definitely sarah also i do have your i have your fairy deck in the queue i just i've, I've been postponing it just because i wanted to maximize the number of vintage cube drafts we I've, I've been able to do because it's only a limited time hopefully that is okay with you look at all these lands are playable yeah and we're gonna play all of them and we're gonna play that black lotus oh you're goddamn right and we're going to be happy good boys <laughs> we are some happy good boys also, we should figure out what we're doing for food later. Uh, I don't know. Because I, I, I mentioned that because I technically haven't eaten today outside of that one. Little, Get out of town. Roll. One cinnamon roll, Frank Lepore. That's what they used to call. That's what they called me in college. They used to call me one cinnamon roll, Frank Lepore. That's what I'm calling you now because you only had one cinnamon roll. That's correct. They didn't unban my mystic, so Dex stays the same. <laughs> oh man, good times. I caught it in holy guacamole, holy moly guacamole, Black Lotus. Good times, good times. We are going to be stacking some bros. Stacking on some bros. How many cards are very, very good on turn one with a Black Lotus? Abyss is great. Uh, Vindicate if we're, uh, we're on the draw. <laughs> that seems bad. <laughs> we could actually go over Shot and Port Lotus, crack the Lotus on their upkeep to tap their land. Yeah. That... Jace the Mind Sculptor, obviously insane. Yeah. Um... Turn two, even going Tezzeret, Jace, or uh, not Tezzeret, Tezzeret, Gideon, or um, Baneslayer is also very good. Yeah, like a turn two Baneslayer Angel, probably going to win a game at some point, I imagine. Just because, like, well, I'm not ready to deal with a 5 5 right Mode now. is a card I don't care about playing on turn one, just because it's like, it doesn't, you don't really need the yeah, benefit that Mode provides that early. Yeah, we're not dying on turn one, two creatures. Turn, turn one Lodestone Golem is not terrible either. That's actually insane. Yeah, that's pretty good. Are we are we playing the blood fast? Is that a thing we're doing? I think this card's actually very good. Yeah. Okay. The format isn't super aggressive, and like you, the amount of cards you can draw off this is very very good. It can get you out of some. I'll admit I find prison decks really fun. Not sure what that's. I've actually I I knew this about you actually. So. <laughs> All right. Actually, sort this again. Sort by Colares. Move these over here. Move you here. Move you here. All right. Let's see if we can. Finagle a mana base here. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sources of white. That seems okay. Yeah. Three, four, five, six sources of blue. I kind of like to go to seven here because yeah. of doubles, but uh, two, three, four, five, six. That also seems fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Oh, this is actually eight, right? Because Marsh Flats and Flooded Strength can both get underground. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we can stay at seven then. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. I'm in it to win it. I'm a mana base. Can you finagle me? <laughs> you know what? I make no promises. I have a feeling being called a cinnamon roll in college would have to be due to a penchant to be covered in... Okay, we're done. <laughs> and that's the end of that. Oh, goodness gracious. Frank, are you ready to play a very mean deck? I hope that we end up playing very... Also, this this Enlightened Tutor is so OP in our deck, dude. Yeah. We can get all of these. I guess I can't move them now because <laughs> we're in this queue. Yeah, we can, we can get... Yeah, dude, it's, it's our little utility belt. It is, actually. It's very, very good. Like, I was salivating over that Blue Red Prison deck with Ipnu Rivlilet as a win con. What is... Oh, that's not okay. <gasps> we're gonna do it! Oh! We're gonna do it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh god, I don't know what's going on. I'm real sick. Of oh yeah, that's not gonna cut it. Is he? He? He's gonna. Daze us. <laughs> that was a cute preordain. Oh, oh. They're gonna not gonna daze us. If they daze us, or are we gonna be sad? You would. You might say our days are numbered if that happens. I'm, I mean, say it. Say it, Nicholas. Our days are numbered. Oh my god, I'm so. And we have two fetch lands in hand. <gasps> it's happening. Bunners. Oh. Oh, Hunter's Hunter's getting scared. Um. We could have. I, I think we maybe we, we, it might be early enough to play this guy that we start fate sealing. Yeah, I think so. Like we already. Uh, like we're already like 
establishing like real far ahead where, where the boss is. I kind of want to shuffle two of these lands back though. Um, I mean we're gonna be Armageddoning, so probably yeah. Actually, actually no, we're yeah. gonna look and then we're gonna we're gonna play this guy and then we're gonna just Armageddon. Yeah, Venser. Uh, yeah, I don't want you to have Venser. Did you? Okay, just making sure that door is still open. Witness the power of this fully armed and operational Jace the Mind Sculptor. Oh, the Ancestral Recalled. That's a good one. It's a solid strategy. Boring. Here's downfall. Don't. Oh my god. Sorry, we got a three one. We uh. We could leave open like Enlightened Tutor and like start grabbing like stacks. Stuff like that. That is a thought. We'll have to fetch first. I also like just going Lodestone Golem next turn into Armageddon. Yeah. I like that too. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? Um, yeah, we can just actually play this now. And they have no targets. Hmm. Very, very smart. Uh, we want a second blue. We also want a second white. We have the Marsh Flats in hand, though, so... And we're probably holding off on that Marsh Flats to, uh... You're not the boss of me now. What's my favorite guild slash wedge? Um, as far as guild, are we talking, like, flavor-wise or uh, Also, how do they beat an Abyss? Our, what's our play here? It's just the abyss. Tanguar doesn't seem good. We're gonna blow up all their lands. So yeah, I was yeah. I mean, like I don't care about Tanguar when we have Armageddon in hand. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take the abyss. I think yeah. that's the strongest card that we can get. I do like Bloodfast. I was also thinking Bloodfast. You're not the boss of me now, and you're not so... I don't know the song. Thank you. Everix, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Wow, we're almost back down to 300 subs because of all the Twitch Prime subs expiring. That is unfortunate. <laughs> Good lord, that is tragic. All right, now we play Mr. Lodestone Golem. Lodi McStonerson. Oh, Lodestone Golem will cost five. Or uh, Armageddon will yeah, cost five. we'll yeah. have five. Yeah. Oh, well, we know the Vencer's on the bottom, so that's cool. They're probably just going to counter this guy. So, my favorite wedge is probably Teamer. Oh, they're going to Mystical Tutor. Um, cause, mainly because my favorite creature is Animar. Because he lets me play more creatures. Because secretly I'm a green mage. I'm an entirely green mage. Bribery? Was, was he bribering out of our deck? A manslayer angel? Uh, Sphinx of the Steel one, most likely. <laughs> what if they don't have a... Oh, they do. Dang. That's really bad. That is problematic. Oh, they can't cast it because of Lodestone Golem! We're secretly the best. Goosh! Oh, you're going to control magic that guy? I see. I see. Well, we're definitely keeping up days here. Uh, no, I don't play Animorphs. I play uh, Oops All Creatures. Animorphs? Yeah, it's uh, it's an Animar deck, and you play Morph Creatures to take, uh, take advantage of the cost reduction, because they all cost zero. And then Animar gets really big. What do we do here? Abyss doesn't do anything. Because they don't have creatures. Armageddon is good, but we don't have a, a we don't have a better board anymore. Yeah, I think we just keep up mana for days. Yep, I think that's fine. 
maybe don't play swamp because reasons. Salvala Heart of the Wild is a very good card. What up, Undreamt Tuna? Your mom is a very good card. What? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for... Oh, and I get the bumpies. I got you. You got the bumpies? The bumpies. See, the problem is if they attack here and we block, then the spells are cheap again. And they and can play bribery, briberies. and then we... Well, we can daze him. Oh, wait, no, da he... God, he's got more mana. Never mind. We can't daze him. Everything is... Everything's out of control. Hey, we got that. <laughs> I'm actually tempted to Armageddon here, because if they try to counter it... Well, I guess daze doesn't do much there, but... We know they have bribery in hand. Yeah. Do we just go Armageddon land? Probably. Or we can play Smokestack. I kind of like Smokestack just to see where the road will take us. Because, <laughs> like, we don't have... Like, we don't have, like, a fully fleshed out plan. Yeah. And we need time to get there. We don't. And if, like, we blow up all our lands and never draw lands, they still have, like, a better thing against us. <sighs> Playing a land. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Also to know we did we would have had to play the land before the Armageddon, so Correct. So Well, unless they got rid of the Lodestone Golem for some reason, like if they smoke stack and kill her on Lodestone Golem. Well, like if we decide to play like Armageddon that turn, we would have had to play the land and blow up our own land. If they bribe her here, it's gonna be pretty sad. I still don't know how we deal with a bribery, but I guess we have smokestack. <laughs> so I guess eventually. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. And he somehow managed to play around the days. Our Jace is in the graveyard. It died. They had to. Ha they happen to have heroes downfall when we Jace, because of course they do. Yep, to the surprise of no one. Let's make sure we stack these correctly. Smoke stack them correctly. All right. Let's put um put you on. Yep. Yeah, there we go. We figured it out. We're smart. I will choose to put a counter on there. Smoking and stacking. Actually, Armageddon here is insane because they have to sack either Yeah. Either they, one of these two. Yeah, so let's just do that. This is why we play Armageddon on two, to protect Jace. Wow, that rain is real. Yeah. Hunter is a very shivery boy. Yeah, he's not having a good time. Shivery. So we should, we sack one thing. We can sack this this porcelain legionnaire, and then they sack both their permanents. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, let me put a soot counter. Yep. So we'll just sky like this again. We'll sack legionnaire, and we will put a counter on it. All right, I'm okay with that. Cause I'm especially okay with that because we have days. Days for days. So we're just going to put no counter on it and sack two and then sack with the smokestack. Yeah. Uh, there was a permanent for each side counter. One and planes is fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll put a counter on it. All right, so now we're in the uh, basically started over. All right, they have no lands left. How did we come back from this? I don't know. Dude, because we're the best magic players ever. We Stacking. Found, found a way to play Jace on turn one. 
That means we're the best. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is nine of their lands. Oh, that's going to be real good if we had any black source. Ooh, ooh, wow. Ooh. Plus we have days, which is just insane against them. Yeah. All right. I'll take any lands. Any lands at this point are just gravy. Yeah. Put us further ahead. Gas. <laughs> Gasoline. <laughs> like you do. This is a good question. Uh, what feels better, opening a Karn and Dominaria draft or Black Lotus and Vintage Cube? Uh, Karn and Dominaria because you get to keep it. And it's 30 tickets. Like, it's just... It's, it's like saying, what's better, opening a Black Lotus that you can play with in a format that you don't get to keep anything or a $40 card? And I'm always going to say $40 card. Okay, good. I almost F6 through our turn. Phew. We didn't do anything, but I forgot we can replay the Tangle Wire, so. Yeah. 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 Tap all your things. I'll time walk you for three turns. This deck seems fun. Fun and interactive. Uh, f oh, they have plenty of land. God, they've drawn more lands than us. Um... Put you on first, the fading counter can come off first. And then we'll tap you, you, and you. Black land. Dang it, Vindicate. How many black lands do we have in the graveyard? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we are very slim on them. I think that might be all of them. Okay. Which is pretty bad considering our hand. Yeah. It's not good. Uh, it's not good. We might have a seventh, but I don't. We think can check so. that real quick, right? I don't think we have a way to check that. Okay. Wow, this is this is rough. Um, so we have underground scrubland. I don't think we have another black source. Yeah. Which is actually pretty brutal. Yeah. Especially because they're hitting way more lands than we are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They've hit 13 of their their lands. We have 13. Do we both have 13 cards left in our deck? Good lord. Hunter's not having a good time. Land, please. Well, that is a land. That is pretty good land. However, it might be... Not a great land. I mean, considering that we have 12 cards, it's... I mean, it's okay for now, but... Do we have a way to get back our things? Good lord. I don't think so. We... Oh, no, it's in the sideboard. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say we have... Uh, Feldens Cane? We had Ulamog. You could discard which, Ulamog? Yeah, like we have Library out. It's so. actually not terrible. All right, we'll go to nine. And we're uh, we're going to draw extra cards so we can get Bane Slurry. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yes, 1,000%. That would have been a good last turn. Yeah. Had we known. If I knew then what I know now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do it again! Where's the lands in this deck, man? Uh, so we play Gideon, right? Prevent damage from dumb, stupid, dumb, dumb. Dumb, stupid, dumb, dumb. And then we uh, get an emblem. I mean, they have six cards in hand. Hopefully they have, like, uh... Hopefully they have Mystic Confluence here. No, just Gideon. Okay. I'm just gonna get an emblem. And we're gonna discard, like, Abyss here. Because... Yeah. We ain't doing anything with that anymore. That isn't doing us any favors. I really didn't think they'd draw one, two, three, four, five, six lands off of the, uh... After, yeah. That was on the bottom of your library, yeah. you? Did they shuffle with something? Mystical Tutor, Mystical, I guess? Yeah. yeah, sure. Wow, they're really doing well with this uh, this playing around days plan. It's actually very impressive. Did we show them days at all? No. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't do that. Um, Sure, I guess we're discarding two cards. Uh, Tide Hollow and Abyss. <sighs> this is obnoxious. Yeah, we're done. 
I don't actually think we have any black sources left in our deck. I don't think we want on top. Nope, that's a black card. One, two, three. Yeah, no black sources left. Okay. All right, so that was pretty rough based on our lack of black. The lack. Lack of black. And lack of black. That game was like a fun roller coaster ride, though. I didn't know what was going on. God, what do we do? Sorcerer Spyglass? What does that hit? It hits Tamiya, which we saw. What does Leyline shut off? Inquisition. Bribery. Yeah. I actually like that. I'm going to take out... I'm going to take out the moat, because they don't have a ton of creatures. I'm thinking yeah, they got one... The creatures they had. I like to take out Abyss, too. Alter guys were... Black. Artifacts. Yeah, artifacts is what I meant. Um, do we want to board any <laughs> No, because they have bribery. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. That's bad. <laughs> Worst case, they get that. Um, I think True Name is actually pretty good. They can't control magic that. Inquisition is probably also pretty good. Yeah. I think this is pretty good. I don't, th I don't think we really had a chance there. Never scoop to bad Tamiyo? No, we had no chance. Sorry, you are uh, I was I an ambitious... I once saw Mike Lapita beat someone with a Tamiyo emblem, and he just thought scoured them to death. You what? I saw Michael Pizza beat someone with a Tamiyo emblem because he was thought scouring. Like that, he had a Tamiyo emblem. I was like, target you with thought scour. <laughs> like that's, that's. Oh, just milling them out. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll thought scour you ten times. That's pretty good. That's a win con. Yeah. Uh, this is the lockout step. This is the sax lockout step, and this is uh, this is my friend Nick, otherwise known as Hat Mike. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm Hat Mike, hipster Mike. Uh, not thrilled. I'm gonna Mulliganos. Yeah, not great. I'm gonna sum actual worse. Okay, that's the best hand ever. Keep play Leyline for free. <laughs> play Gideon on turn I'm one. Put this on the bottom. I'll put you in. Okay. Do we just do we just Lotus Gideon? I think so. Make an emblem and then like that's like a lot of attacks. Yeah. Nah, dude, Nick is the new Mike, and Mike is new no-hat Nick. If we draw Arguel's blood fast off the top, that'd be pretty gas, right? Yeah, that'd be that'd be gravy. I mean, they have to deal with this guy in five turns, so. Nice haircut, Frank. Looking sharp. Hat Mike, not so much. Dang. I mean, he has a hat on, though. Yeah. Bang. ba da do, -do, -do, -do. do you think our opponent's like super mad? Oh, they mulligan to five and they're beating me with this Gideon. Good. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna keep getting lands here. Lands are good. It's good to have land. It's also really good if we let them not have land. My concern is that next turn they have Venser. And then they, like, bounce Gideon. Gideon, and then we're like, oh no. They're at eight, though. Like. Yeah, they need to do something soon. They're not doing anything. Uh oh, it's magic when I'm with you. All right, let's keep on keeping on. I mean, I like this because we can just replay Gideon. Yeah, and we can play around Daze. You got a four here. Oh, this is where they go, Venser EOT, and then kill us. Yeah, this is hundred percent Venser. I mean, there are four though. Blink. Okay, that's actually not as bad as Vencer. They got to draw a card. Probably my biggest feels bad in Magic was losing my opponent mulled to three. That's that's your biggest feels bad. That's actually pretty okay then. If my opponent mulls to three and still wins, I'm probably gonna be like, "Good job, way to go." I uh, at a first F and M after Zendikar was released, I was playing uh, Mill. I mulligan to three. My three was three archive traps. 
I beat my opponent <laughs> because he was really upset that I blasted him for, what is that, like 39 cards? Seems like a good amount. Yeah. He was not okay with it. Your Tamio can no longer hurt me. Any land here is good. You get an emblem. Yeah, all right, sure. Uh-oh, it's tomatoes. When I'm with you. Do you tap a land instead of... Yeah, that means they just have a thing to do. Okay. They can hear us downfall in response to us. Okay, they didn't do that. Well, I'm just going to go for your face and see what happens. I guess you're going to Vencer Bounce? Mystic yeah, Confluence, like... maybe? Interesting. What's one of your top feels bad mans besides losing twice with Mike B to Blightsteel in the same game? Did that happen? Mm. Oh, the uh, the Lava Claw Reaches game. Yeah, that was brutal. Yep, obviously, Vencer. Sure. It's fine, I could just replay it. Yeah. And then we plus on Vencer, right? That's so smart. Thanks. How did you get this way? I learned everything I know about magic from from you. God, I'm so proud of myself. Hat Matt's your favorite format and favorite card. Uh, favorite format is probably modern, because it's like the Wild West. There's there's no rules. Wild Wild there. West. My favorite card is Everflowing Chalice. It's funny that modern is more of the Wild West than a format like Legacy or Vintage. Yeah. Because there are more stops in those formats. Right. Um, whereas modern doesn't have things like force of will or yeah, you know, God, they're really getting their, they're really getting their game on here. What do we discard here? Armageddon? Yeah, probably. I don't see us Armageddoning when they have double planeswalkers out. Yeah. However, I do see us Bane Slayering or not Bane Slaying, Tesseriting because they have. Uh... uh... My social security number is, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. Can you tell me your social security number? Yeah, it's, uh, 583, uh, 22-22222. Is that because you're a ballerina? Yes. You got that 2-2? Two -two? Oh, They're we figuring got... out their cryptic command modes. You didn't, you didn't tell us your mother's maiden name. Oh, uh, uh, Smith. <laughs> wow. It's like you're not even trying. Uh, that, that actually is my mother's maiden name. Really? Yeah. It's like she's not even trying. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm with you. Yeah, obviously. Ain't nobody Boring. surprised by this is a, this is This is obnoxious. It's not, it's not... Uh, one of my biggest feels bad moments in Magic is when we had turn one Lotus both games uh, with a Planeswalker and our opponent was able to uh, cast very powerful blue-black cards and kind of ignore that. So, Oh, actually, Baneslayer is actually a pretty reasonable threat. Yeah. I mean, Tamiyo can still tap it down, but... Yeah, but right, but then we had two threats on board. What is, like, does... What is Tezzeret doing for us? Nothing right now. Like, he can grab us... Nothing. Yeah, like, he can't... Gra he can grab us, like, Grim Monolith. <laughs> I'm gonna be real sad if we draw um, Animate Dead, and then we could have Animated Dead. Oh, well, now, I'm, now I feel better about it. I think we have to kill this, right? Yeah. Uh, we have to deal with both of them, which is the, the friggin' annoying part. I think this game's over, actually. Uh, target player. Okay, they can't actually target us with Liliana, so that's yep. a thing. So, we kill Tamio, we discard Gideon, play Baneslayer Angel. Yeah, that seems about right. Sweet zombies, bro. 
sure. He gets his island back. If they have a land in hand, they're more incentivized to just play the land. If they don't, they're probably just not going to play anything. Yeah. The problem is if they have, like, Hero's Downfall for Baneslayer, which they probably do because they always have it. Um, yeah. Then they're just going to kill Baneslayer, reanimate. We are also at 9. Which, which so. makes a lot of sense because they didn't actually kill anything here. I mean, if they have it, we're dead. So, hold up. Should we just play Gideon, use plus on uh, yes, Scare of God? probably. And then, like, that way, we're just not dead due to Gideon. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like, like that a lot better. Yeah, so our plan here is to, like, keep this Gideon alive until we find a better answer. <laughs> what version of Mike is this? Hat Mike? <laughs> Man, everyone, that's completely independent. Yeah, that's everyone hilarious. comes in here and like the first thing they're like is hat Mike. It's it's good. I'm it's, glad. It's really weird. I'm glad that everyone is on the same. The uniformity page. of my chat is really impressive. That's a good watch. I know. So I'm I'm actually the high better on that one. Discard a card. Oh God. Oh Lord. I'm really uncomfortable right now. I, yeah. We did forget about that. Yeah, I mean it was it was either that or we we die. We throw away Baneslayer Angel, right? No, we can cast Baneslayer. Angel. Yeah, we can cast. He, it's gonna come back as a four four, right? Yeah. So. Oh, um. Yeah, so we discard this. We can cast Baneslayer, yeah. and then they can just get their Sphinxes, which is fine. Yeah. Neither mode of Liliana is actually good against us, so. So now we just cast Bane Slayer. Well, they don't have, I guess they don't have a Hero's Downfall because they would have used it. Right. A little late to the party. Fashionably late to the party. Seriously? Your last card is obviously a good one. Factor Fiction. So you have two card types, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, put Emrakul and him together. Oh, they get they get back Scarab God. I would just take this pile, right? Yeah. Like I guess we still get to keep Gideon though, so that's pretty good. So they're gonna control our turn. Use. They can't cast this by any means. They have two card types, and they are going to have oh, instant yeah, sorcery. Right. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. The problem is these go to the graveyard, which is actually three card types, and you get one extra land. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They're actually not that far from. But then they don't get damnation, so that's fine. Whatever. I don't know if this is good or not. Yep, they took Emrakul and him. I'd rather give them Emrakul and him because him is basically dead, so we're giving them yeah. one good card. Yep. Sure. And we knew that was happening. So they have five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they have three card types, so that's 10, 11, 12. So they can't actually cast it this turn. I guess they actually could cast it, funny enough. They could actually activate Liliana Ultimate on themselves. Put, like... All the cards in one pile, all the cards in another pile. They keep the the card the pile with all the cards. Yeah, and then... Foth Liliana. puts cards into graveyards, bro. That's true, bro. Which is why I accounted for that when I made my decision. <laughs> That's... What? <laughs> What's happening here? Sweet top deck. Yeah, cool. I would have just gone for the style points and Emrakuld. Uh Does Emmy target? I actually don't know. Probably. You cast a spell, target opponent. Yeah, so they actually couldn't have targeted us, so they would have just gotten Emrakul. Well, that's unfortunate. They have Crucible. Yes, we know. We, we mentioned all of this, right? Like, I don't understand why people are... Say like, it's just you're basically saying random things. Here's a card they have in their deck. Yes, I, well, I know. We, went, we literally said that. I think we want this guy just to be a little more aggressive. He's really bad with stupid abyss, though. Ugh. 
Whatever, we'll double ravage. We'll keep the dream alive. Yeah, let's do it. Bro does rank pretty highly on my list of condescending nicknames, which is why I actually responded to the way I did. I will play first. Oh, dude, we get turn one Porcelain Legionnaire. We don't have to pay two life. I'm going to keep this. <laughs> um, I do like discarding Sphinx with Thirst. And then hoping to do some reanimate yeah, shenanigans. Yeah, nice. Oh, you didn't want to play Porcelain Legionnaire on turn one? No, no one wants to do that because that's a terrible play. You didn't want to play Thirst for Knowledge on turn one? No, that's also pretty bad. You didn't want to Vindicate on turn one? Now I'm tempted to just Lotus. Bloodfest, and then draw a card. I'm actually more tempted to, blow to, to Lotus Thirst, just to draw land, and then we can play either Bloodfest or Porcelain Legionnaire. I think we have to do that, unfortunately. If we just had a land, we could play Gideon, which would be great, but we don't have that luxury right now. Oh my god, I didn't see this land at the end, and I was like, are you serious right now? Um, Artifact, Sphinx, land... I'm just going to go blood fast here. They, If they're red, like, Porcelain Legionnaire is probably eating a lightning bolt. Hey there, Frank. Huge fan. Gotta be honest with you. I keep getting confused on which one's the real mic. Could you perhaps clarify for me and please play better? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Fashion relate to the party. Classic Jace the Mind Sculptor. He's too busy getting his hand swirlies. Be a land, please. Thank you. Oh, my goodness gracious. You're killing me here. Well, we're at least hitting land drops. Frank, be careful. The opponent has cards in their hand. That's true. That's a good point. Okay, but what if you had a soul ring? Then Porcelain Engineer turn one seems pretty good. How do you? Oh yeah, that seems great. Yeah, it seems very good. All right, so they're not the red aggressive deck, which is great because I want to be able to draw cards and play this for two. Yeah. Real men love getting their hand swirlies before a fight. <laughs> they really do. I'm tempted to just vindicate that. Oh, I'm tempted to do it. No, uh, yeah, let's, let's just do that. Um, Is it possible that we want to draw a card first to hit a land? Uh, we want to play around days, right? For days, we do. Uh, if we vindicated anything, we'd vindicate the Coalition Relic, not the Mountain. As you can imagine, Coalition Relic is better than a Mountain by a significant margin. Nah. Coalition Relic gets beaten by Naturalize. Mountain only gets beaten by Vindicate. Uh, what does your mom get beaten by? Don't say my dad, because that's real dark. <laughs> <laughs> We're well, not going in that direction. It's well, not okay. Well, you, uh, you are my dad. That's worse. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, know that, you know what I always say about the Sphinx of the Steel Wind, right? It's better when it has minus one power. No, that makes it worse, but I do say... Uh, Yeah, we're, we're vindicating that trick. Right? 100%. <laughs> Thousand percent. It's okay, they got a counterspell. We know they have a counterspell. Because... They always have Because this is us, and we're playing against an opponent, so they have it. Yeah. Just like when I, when I was like, oh, my opponent surely has Hero's Downfall. Um, they didn't. Because they were waiting to draw it the very next turn. So. They had it when it was important. Land? No, that would be very good. Oh, I see. They're going to uh, they're gonna play a Pestermite and tap down our... Our thing, sure, surely. Land. That's kind of like a land. It's not even close to a land. This is amazing. Sixteen cards, four mana sources. No, yeah, it's fine. This is three games we've opened on Black Lotus, and three games it has not done anything. Was this, this, this the three lands? Yes. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Very close. Very close. Nosegat, I, I don't think I saw it, but thanks for the, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Did you see that? That was spooky. Was it a little flicker? Yeah. I hope we're still connected. We're still on the internet, so. Oh, there's Hazard. Well, we get to play things this turn, so that's cool. It's Vindicate the Treachery, right? It's 1,000 per... Actually, is there a better... No, not no. really. <laughs> we did it. We got our guy back. Everyone cheer for us. Pretty, 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 pretty good. It's 
pretty good. God, Mike's hand, hat Mike's hand, because it was really, really impressive. They're gonna. This is where they go. Frost Titan, tap down our Sphinx. All right, they have six cards in hand. This Hazard seems real awkward. Yeah, he doesn't get to attack or block. Mm -hmm. He's a big old dummy. On the upside, if they beat us with Sphinx, you might get to flip the blood fast. That's like drawing a land. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Touche, if if you will. I like how the front half of that card is like do a bunch of damage to yourself. And then, you know, draw cards. And then you flip it over and it's like, quick, gain a bunch of life, you're dying. <laughs> we can't block that guy. Oh, because of the pro-white? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's cute. That's like hidden text on that card. It's like all of the modes on... Because um, on it's, kind of, it's kind of arbitrary, right? You're just like, why does this have pro-white again? I don't know. Oh, this would help us cast Chase the Mind Sculptor. Or Bane Slayer Angel. Which can't block it. But it can stop. I mean, the life we'd be gaining is yeah. pretty significant. Right now, actually, it doesn't help us cast anything, really. Yeah, so let's just attack with this guy, gain some five lives. And then probably play, like, I don't know, Tangle Wire. What does Tangle Wire do? I don't know, it taps down their stuff. It taps down their, like, Hazaret, right? I feel like it's worse for us than for them. Yeah, they, they do have more stuff. I'd rather just play Porcelain Legionnaire, I guess. Because right. it's literally the only thing we can do. Actually, maybe we draw a card. Yeah, I'm a little reluctant to do that. Actually, is this guy just kill us when it ultimates? Probably. I like how it's ultimating. Actually, <laughs> actually, I think we do Tangle Wire here because I uh, don't really want them to be able to activate this guy. Yeah. I guess they could in response, but then they have to probably tap this guy down. So. Right. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Hat Mike, can you teach Stream how to do the hand kazoo, pretty please? I, I wish I could. I really do. This is how you're gonna be. I. It's it's a curse. It's my. We super invite you into our stream home. It's and my superpower. That doesn't sound if like you a see curse. a kazoo wielding superhero running around your neighborhood, it's me. I'm I'm hand kazoo. <laughs> Daddy long legs. Hey, Liz has got really long legs, so that's what we'll call it. Long legs. Make it kinkier. <laughs> okay, we'll call it Daddy Long Legs, I guess. It's not the worst superpower ever. I'm pretty sure uh dustpan for hands is the worst superpower ever. What about wa Edward Watermelon hands? That's a pretty bad superpower, too. What about Edward John Cena hands? Hey, would you guys rather have dustpan for hands or jelly sweats? Jelly sweats? Yeah, like, so instead of, like, normal sweat, it's, like, grape jam. Uh, always fading first. I guess we're tapping lands. No, we're tapping this and then one, two. Yeah, we'll tap to two, to two block A sources. Uh, Land. We're doing I, it. We're doing it. Did I consider your proposal to refer to anything that deals one damage as a beast thing? Yeah, I, I like that. I really do like that. What about a beat stink? Jelly sweats. Eat free for life. That's what I'm saying. Can't find the jelly sweats. She dreams and color she dreams and sweats. Can't find the jelly sweats. Deals damage each opponent. So this actually doesn't kill. J oh, that does, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> so I like, got to tap three things down. One, two, three. And then they still get one, two, three, four, five. They, they can still cast their guy, but I think we're at a point where we're winning the race now. Gideon can also redirect and force it to attack him next turn, which is pretty strong. Yeah. Gideon's pretty strong, man. Gideon is a good, good, the plain swear character. I mean, you can drink your urine and drink for life, but you don't do that, do you? You, can, you don't know my life. You can drink your friends and you can drink your urine, but you can't drink your friend's urine. That's what I always say. Then why'd you give me a cup full of your urine? I didn't force you to drink that. You set it down on the table and said, drink this urine or you're done. And are you done? Well, I drank the urine, so no. So what are you complaining about? It was a lot of urine, Frank. I'm not your dad. I can't make you do these things. Okay, dad. Can't find a better Nick. <laughs> why would you want to find a better Nick? Well, if there is a better Nick, why wouldn't I want to find that? I don't know. Oh, look, I found all the lands in our deck. Good job. I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. Attack him. 
I'm going to. Attack him and gain some life. I'm going to, Dad. Hobo Mike is still here. I'm sad. I'm not a hobo. I have I have an apartment and I pay bills, and a job. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have any of those things. God, if we had that winter, we can tether it for winter right now. Yeah. Instead, all we have is the marsh flats. I mean, I still don't have a regret for that, but... Yeah, no, I agree. What can we get with this Tezzeret? Wait, who's dad here? Hat Mike, what's your biggest regret in life? Honesty stream. Uh-oh, honesty stream time. My biggest regret in life. Um, I don't necessarily have, like, a lot of regrets. Um, I feel like life presents you with challenges and obstacles and opportunities, and you make choices there where it's like yeah but you can still regret things that's kind of yeah. just a cop-out that people say to, to to not feel guilt i still have regrets even though i've learned like there's a difference between learning from your right. from your experiences and then still having regrets about certain things yeah. you've done i don't know if i if i had to say <laughs> if i had to say like my biggest regret it's probably not being like more social going out more doing like, that's a good one stuff i regret everything <laughs> okay well you know there's uh that's something right there. One, two, three, Shut four, up, five, philosophy major six, seven. So they can actually buff this bad boy. We take seven, eight, nine, ten. We go to four, but they have to attack Gideon, um, which means Gideon survives, and we take just three, and they, that's their turn. And then we crack back for five plus Gideon and kill them, and they'd be tapped out. So that doesn't seem great for them. I may have killed a man. <laughs> Oh, you said regrets? I thought you meant points of pride. <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> this was awkward. Oh, hi. I don't know who that is, but they know me. Uh, I believe Amped was here yesterday. Oh. Hi. I'm not very good at recognizing names, especially when there's numbers with them. Especially when there's numbers. Names and numbers. do 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 what are you gonna? This Sphinx has been dominating this game, bro. Uh, Everix, no comment. Oh, a worm coiler. Do I have a way to deal you an extra four points this turn? God, Tangle Wire is OP, man. You just always tap the Tangle Wire, and it's like, well, yeah. that's pretty good. Dude, chat wants to know so much about me. Me, what? me too. All right, what question do you have for me? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. <laughs> uh. Can't I can't even do it anymore. <laughs> Let's see what they have in their little handerino. What? No, then they're gonna kill us with Hazaret. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really scared of Hazaret right now. Call Firebolt a Johnny Vengeant. None of these cards deal with the Bane Slayer, which is my which is my big concern. Yeah. Um, I'd rather you play a Johnny. Actually, you can tap down a Bane Slayer, so we're going to take the Johnny here. I guess no. you can still Firebolt this guy and then play a Johnny Vengeance, which is unfortunate. Oh, a Johnny doesn't tap though. Yeah, it just is like, hey, that's I'm, relevant. I'm here. Also, it can't target Sphinx. And it can't target. It can't target. Uh, Johnny can target Bane Slayer, but we still get an attack, and they can't block yeah. it. Block it. Um, do you care about this? No. That kills Tidehall Scholar. Yeah, I think that's actually fine. I don't. I don't really care about Hazard right now. I'll be honest with you. Um, I'll take the Ajani because it forces you to use the other thing. Yeah. Get in there. It's in a book, reading rainbow. Because I'm explaining why we aren't blocking the dragon, because that's not how Magic the Gathering works. The dragons has protection from white, and this is a white creature based on its mana costs. Magic the Gathering is a game of words and colors. It's okay. I don't blame you. And protection numbers. from white just really kind of sneaks in there. It's really like it's it's such a weird. It's like flying haste. Oh, protection from white. Hey, was that was that? What are those abilities that most dragons have? Uh, flying a haste? Y yeah, we need a third one. We need one more. 
pro white. Yeah, it's gonna have pro white. Uh, why? Yeah, why does it have that? You asked me for an ability. Oh, okay. That's yeah, that, and that's it's, the story of Stormbreath Dragon. It's kind of like the secret hidden text on Bainslayer Angel protection from demons and dragons. It is kind of similar because you're like, what about you? Doesn't like those things, huh? It's it's slang Bane. Frank, are you a fan? This might make me sad and questioning my life decisions. Can can he be replaced in the next draft? Who? Who's getting replaced? Oh, you got this guy. You got it. Take a look. It's in a book. Booky book book. One get Frank a loot book. A loot? What's a loot? Is that an instrument? This mic makes me sad and questioning my life decisions. Can what did you say that's really sad? I don't know. Like, was it when I got real and said, uh, said that I, uh, like, am sad that I don't go out more? This seems good, right? Double blocking the worm yeah. coil with the two first strike creatures? Yeah, seems fun. When we know like they have, like. when we know they have Koth and, uh, Ajani as two of their cards? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And he's like... Let me, let I'm gonna me, gain ten. <laughs> let me let me rearrange your on this so I can kill your. Uh oh. None of your guys died. I gained zero life. That's that's correct. All of these things happened. We gained ten. I feel like we're in a good a good shape. We are in a good shape. Can you define a like what shape is good to me? Turtle. That's. I mean, turtle can be a shape. I guess I'll I'll give that one to you. They said good games, and I'm like, but this is just first game. They said good games, but real... But it, real, it, but it was G... Good. They said GG's, but it was GG. Uh, biscuits. I like biscuits. I'm gonna put some good biscuits. Did you like this biscuit song that I'm singing? Just say yes. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Biscuits. Biscuits. They said GG's, but it was GG. Classic. But it was not GG. It was... Ah, forget it. Hey, Frank Lepore and Hat Mike. What is slash are your modern deck or decks? Uh, my I think my go-to modern deck is turns. Because, boy, do I like taking some turns. You seem like a man who takes turns. You seem like a man who would uh, die. My, uh, my modern decks are uh, Tron. Um, Ponza. Um, what else have I, what else do I enjoy playing? God, it's weird that you don't know how miserable your friend is until he's sitting right next to you. I, I like producing a lot of mana, and I like playing Karn, and I also like playing Worm. And I also like producing mana, but then killing my opponent's mana. Yeah. That makes me feel good about myself. Uh, man. What other? What was that stupid deck that I like to play a while? Maybe back? you beat them so oh, uh, they're going to see the next match. Maybe that's true. I I, uh, I really enjoyed Scred Red because I caught the hammer. Caught the hammer is one of my favorite dudes. Just stop at Tron and Pons. I don't want to know. Uh, <laughs> Frank, why is he here? <laughs> I love Koth, so oh. I played Scred. Um, I currently have five color creatures, not five color humans. I'm not made of money. But you work at TCG Player, can't you just can't you just Can I just take all the cards? Yeah, don't you guys get a free card discount? Yeah, the, the free card discount. You get a discount on free cards? That's not very good, Frank. <laughs> no, the discount entails free cards, Nicholas. Oh. It's okay, Hat Mike. I own Gift Storm too. Oh, you're gross. Why are you here, Spencer? Remember the time we won the game? Yeah, we won. It was nice. This hand's mediocre you're mediocre it's got days i'm gonna keep this hand yeah i don't think this is a sixer am i tall mike i'm not really that tall he's not mike regular mike is yeah, significantly mike, taller mike b is mike b is very very tall mike b is like six six yeah he he could play basketball and i would be like good job with the basketball you like that i played this first over the island even though we have days in hand i do turned out didn't even need to matter didn't matter. even it didn't even need to matter. Didn't even need to matter. It could have mattered, and it didn't even need to. What? Do, all right. So yeah, to answer this question, what do I think of New Sarkin in Dragon Scred? I I don't even know what New Sarkin does. He like adds red mana for dragons or something like that. Yeah, it's two red for for dragons. Yeah. Okay. So he's a three drop too. So you can unturn four, you'll have six mana for dragons. Six dragon mana. That's pretty good. It's actually not bad. What do you, What do you mean? I don't, what? Yeah, I get. I don't get to pick my nickname, but the nickname should be 
relevant, right? Yeah, but you still don't get to pick it. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not asking to pick it. Like, well, it sounds like you're asking to pick it. Hat Mike. Y- All right, I'm fine being Hat Mike. Yeah, you better be, Hat Mike. Remember that time we missed the land drop? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Maybe we're just slow rolling the Armageddon so that we can. I hope they try to counter the Armageddon, and then we get to daze and bounce a land, and, and then, then we get to play land next turn. Such gas. Why haven't they done anything? Oh dang it! This is looking so stupidly bad. My name is Chicken Tenders. I don't think that's your name. We didn't see a single creature that Moat really affects other than Hazaret. Yeah. Uh, Goodbye, Moat. The only creatures we saw that... Calm down, Tall Mike. (laughs) Alright, I guess I'm Tall Mike now. This this isn't a Johnny. Yeah, that's never happening. I apologize. Bye, Johnny. I still love you. Put you in the tea can, which is short for the trash can. Trashy Mick... Oh, God. Hey, we can play that guy. Fantastic. I will play... They're going to be like Firebolt. I'm going to be like, oh, a uh, point five for one. Seems good. Arctr- Uh-oh, he's going to take it. <laughs> That's the rudest thing you can do. <laughs> he took it. Correct. God, deck mm. fading is so good. This this match is over. I'm not even going to play this out. It's just not... I'm not having a good time with this particular is, game. Is Hacky Sack that, Mike actually tall? Like, I'm, I'm somewhere between like... He's like my height. Yeah, I'm like five... 10. I'm 5'10", yeah. So we're probably the same, close to the same height. I don't know why your height has gotten so, uh, such a, such a... Yeah, I don't know. Such an, uh... I... That's where I'm looking for. Listen, man. man I'm, a, I'm a very controversial man. No. I, I wear... False. I wear, I wear the I Love Snake t-shirt. False. It's called I, Snake. Actually, Sorcerer's Spyglass seems really good here. Yeah. All right, I'm not going to bring it in, though, because it was too late. I'm going to play first. Ooh, we can play Port. Yes, because it's our only land. <laughs> that is correct. We can play that. <laughs> All right, this is this hand. This is the hand. Yeah, I wish we were on the draw, but oh god, I really wish we were on the friggin' draw. Oh, I hit the. Uh. How's it going, chat? Things, uh, things going well for you? I'll keep. We're, I'll put this on top just in case. We're keeping on four. That was uh, that was that was pretty bad, but. I believe in us. The six would have been good, I think. The six would have been good. It would have let us uh, play a game of Magic the Gathering. Now we don't get to... Why would we shame scoop? That's stupid. Yeah. I haven't even started the game yet. Yeah. There's there's still plenty of chance. I was going to hit OK because the same they put the mulligan button where the OK button is because they can't put them up here instead. So I just went to click OK because I'm like, oh, let me start my turn and go to my main phase. But nope, turns out it was actually the... Uh, we weren't there yet. The mulligan button. Yeah, we're gonna get to a point where we can discard this, and then we're just gonna animate dead. And then what are they gonna do? Scoop? Yeah. They're actually gonna steal a deck, Faden. They can't. It's got pro red. Gas. <laughs> Gas. <laughs> Gas. <laughs> Gasoline. All right, sure. We nice. could have actually time walked. We could have dazed that, but I could care less. It, yeah, that, sweet explore, bro. Yeah. Apparently not. Not even? Oh, they didn't even hit a land drop. Oh my god, this is great. Look at us. They have to discard now. Phenomenal. Wow, did we just like... We're secretly going to win this game. I don't even know what's going on right now. Mulliganing to four. New tech. Did they just keep on seven? Yeah, they were like... That guy's going to four. This seven's going to roll him. Going to roll him. They hate him. We're rolling, trying to keep them riding dirty. Can't let me riding dirty. Oh, can we animate dead this? Oh, that's a good animate dead target. I agree with you. It kills all his lingering souls. Or it just attacks them for four turns because it's a 5-5 five, five dragon, baby. Five, oh, I five. hope they discard something bigger. Dang. Yeah, we're just going to do it now. I'm not going to wait. Old 5-5 five, five dragon, baby. Dragon, baby. Don't have an answer, but I guess it's a five toughness. So I don't know what your blue red deck would. Do. We also have days. We missed it. Oh yeah, we, we yeah we do. You're right. Um, we also missed a swing, which is sad. So if we end up losing because By of that, one. wow! Can you imagine if we if we mold to, accidentally mold to four here and we just win this game because our opponent literally just misses all the land drops?
Also, what do you do? You blink? What? You're either tapping the anime dead. What? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you can have that. <laughs> you can draw a card. Oh, they hit their land. All right. Biscuits. Oh, actually... Tangle wire. Oh, yeah, we're tangle wiring. Yeah. Because then we're going to tap all of our lands... Uh, two of our lands, and we still get to keep days up forever. I think we, I think we actually have this game. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is, this is, this is ridiculous. I told you everything would be all right in the end. This is unbelievable. Our opponent literally had to um, not hit lands for a million turns. Uh oh, they're they're adding mana in response. No, um, yeah, that's fine. We can't do anything about that. That's still their turn, right? Yeah. Every time they do something like that during their turn, it's an extra four points. They still got to tap it, though. All right, cool. Trigger's on the stack. Seems good. Nice. Thunder my Hulk and now we And now we don't have to tap anything? Thanks, opponent. Let's see what you got. Don't. Oh, Wear Tear is actually... Oh, no, you don't have any white mana. Vendillion Click, I don't care about. Treachery is good, but you're very far off of that. Storm Breath, Koth, Force of Will... I guess we just take the Coalition Relic, because that gives you the colors for Wear Tear, and you can actually Wear Tear immediately. So, I mean, d do we take Force of Will so they don't have, like, they don't win us, like, win in the counter battle when we want to counter a thing of theirs? I mean, they're going to 8, and they can't cast anything in their hand without Relic. Alright. I'm going to take the Relic. I bet Wear and Tears. Yep. <laughs> there's Tear, here's a Wear. Oh, he's going to... He's going to tear our Skuller to get back Relic. That's fine. It's they're, a time walk. They're so. going to do that anyway. But they can't play the Coalition Relic on the same yeah. turn. Unless they draw land. In which case we can daze it. So. No, even if they draw lands too, so. Old Man River. Old Man River. I I don't I don't get it. You will. I've what are you what are you referencing? The old man river. Is that just a river of old men? Do we ravage the floor? Yeah, we're gonna let them wear tear and then we're gonna ravages and then that's gonna be game. This is gonna be utterly actually they have they have force force of will now. Yeah. That's still fine. It's all good. We have days. Destroy that. Oh my god, we do have days. But they have one mana open. Oh my god, they do have one mana open. <laughs> That's awkward. Alright, so we know six of their cards in the Coalition Relic. Right? Yes. Yes. Let's go to four? They're dead next turn? Yeah. God, if they hit a land though, they get to wear tear. No, wear tear's in the graveyard. Oh, because they just used it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, then that's all we cared about then. Yeah. Do you just want to cast Ravages to... Yeah, because like... they have to counter it. Yeah. And the only thing we can do is, is Daze. Yeah, that's 100% correct. Because now they get to lose Force. And then they get to lose Vendillion Click, I presume. How is this a real game? This is amazing. This is magic like Richard Garfield intended it. Yeah, got right click. Predict as predicted. So Karn doesn't do anything, Treasury doesn't do anything, Coalition and Stormbreath don't do anything. So you have one unknown card and whatever you draw this turn. And you're literally limited to if one of them is a land, you're limited to a four mana spell, and if one of them if they're if neither are lands, you can't cast anything. So Dude, I didn't know you thought Tron was a cool deck. I think Tron's a cool deck too. Never said that. I was bamboozled. Um, do I care about this? Probably not. No, I don't. What's he gonna do? Make three mana? Yeah, they're gonna make three mana, which they could have done Play Coalition previously. Like. Yeah. So now we know you have Treachery. Oh, we gotta counter this. Yeah. Because if they have, like, swords or something, I don't really feel like giving you that white. Oh, they, they, they gave me the sad face. I wonder if that was it. We mulliganed to four accidentally... Crush them with their own Thunder My Hellkite. 
Anime Dead's a hell of a card, dude. That's grade A magic. Can we just place one, like, creature deck? Where Moat and Abyss are good? This deck really wants to sit. We haven't actually drawn Grim Monolith in any sort of, like... Shame scoop is silly because they have no idea. It's yeah. not. It's not. It's not shameful to them that it's, like I'm not ashamed. Yeah, like they, they have no idea I, I accidentally mulliganed. Yeah, it's just embarrassing for you. If I attacked into their onboard trick, then I'd be like, oh wow, I feel so stupid, and you know I'm stupid now because I did this in front of us. They don't know what I. They they have no idea where where does the shame come from? Oh, I like this hand. Do we? I like it. Yeah, we do. It's pretty good. Old man river. All right. Okay, we did it. We hit the right button. Whew! That was so loud. That was loud. I apologize. God. I apologize, everyone. Why are you so loud? I, it's Ge ge it's genetic. I, you were going to say that. <laughs> it's, it's in my DNA. My loudness is, in, is, is etched on my mitochondria. I got it from you, Dad. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a porty thing. We could have actually flooded Strand, grabbed Scrubland, and we would have had the same exact lands in play. Yeah, but now we have a port, and we're going to tap down some things. Hey, big fan of videos. Thanks for doing what you do. Thanks for saying so, old Bedlam83. Unfortunately, I'm still going to tap down your land. Which land do we tap down? Probably the one that produces two colors. God, you're so, you're so smart, man. Thanks. I don't understand. Did you go to school? Did you go to smart school for this? Did I go to smart school? Is that a school where they teach you how to be smart? I guess they you. I guess you didn't go there because you don't even know what it is. They don't. They don't teach you anything that would make you smart. They just teach you how to be smart. Is this dazable? I feel like we can't really deal with it. Yeah, probably not. It's not dazable, but it's like really. It's still obnoxious. Yeah, like. I mean, that kind of deals with it. <laughs> I'd rather just kill one of their lands, to be quite honest. Or I'd rather Armageddon. thirst here. We have an Armageddon. That's a good point, we can, I guess. We can, we can take a couple swings from that guy. We can take a little, a couple boops on the nose. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're actually going to... Are we just going to thirst? Or, uh... Hmm. Hmm. I want to hit another land. But we don't have anything to really discard right now. Can you show us your proudest poem? I know you were a lieutenant major, right? I don't... No. Literature. Oh, literature major. I don't know why I said lieutenant major there. You were a lieutenant major in the... In the... The, the war... I was like, that's a weird thing to associate with. Uh, if you days down again, you can save a land. That's true. We could save all the lands if we do that. <laughs> no, we'll pay one still. How come I can't port and target their creatures? You ever think about that? Man. Then I think Rashad port would be pretty good. I'm going to vindicate that guy. Yeah, for get sure. that guy off the battlefield. Are we gonna, we're going to have to thirst here, right? Probably. I mean, I want to hit a land. Yeah. And we're going to draw Sphinx so we can discard. Actually, we can discard Lodestone Golem. Yeah. Yeah, seems fine. I want lands. Old man. Hey, there's Gruel Grimmy. Gruel Grimmy. I said Old Grimmy. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Gruel Grimmy. That's me, Gruel Grimmy. Do we vindicate this metal worker? They have four cards. Uh, two of them are artifacts, and then we could uh, go, Sphinx of the Steel Wind. We could go Grim Monolith into uh, Enlightened Tutor, and then untap the Grim Monolith with Tezzeret next turn, and then play Armageddon. Like, we can go add three, uh, four, five. Uh, well, uh, you know, obviously with the Underground Sea, we'll play that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Tezzeret, untap Grim Monolith, three, four. But then they have two creatures, I guess. And then he's dying. No, nah, maybe not. They might be metal worker for mana. I think we have to get rid of this guy, unfortunately. But it just doesn't let us do anything else this turn. We can't can't keep up days, can't enlighten tutor, and can't grim monolith. Actually, tutoring for moat seems pretty good here, but we don't have a second white source, so that's not as good. I like Grimondal with Tutor. I think we can actually take a turn off, and then we can find an answer for. Um, I'm actually going to use Port instead, so we can keep Days up. Yeah, we'll enlighten Tutor. We'll see what we can get. Days is always up. We have islands. <laughs> That's fair, but I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather just pay its cost if I have the option. 
Yeah, but that's a cost too. Port their white source. They have two white sources. I don't really care about that. That puts another artifact in their hand. Oh no. They traded up. They traded up for mana. They traded adjacent. They up. Alright. Shut up, nerd. Rude. You're rude. So that they don't cast moat. Oh, wait, what? Who's casting moat here? I don't know what's going on right now. This is why Chad is... Po oh, port our white source. That makes so much more sense. Okay, I'm, I'm on board now. Sort of body mine's a good one. Oh, that's a scary one. Is it? When they don't have any floaters and we can just get a motor? They don't have any floaters and we can get a motor. Still need that white source. The problem with enlightened tutoring is that we we know we don't draw a white source. Yeah. And we and we want to draw a white source. Yeah, source filmmaker is banned. It's real sad. What? Source filmmaker. I don't know what that is. It's uh, it's Valve's like video making software. It's a joke. It's the same same. Is it a joke? Letters. I'm funny. Prove it. Why are you guys saying tutor for moat? You don't have one white source, right? We, we If we tutor for moat, we just have a moat in our hand and then we can't do anything. Oh, I, I forgot about the metal worker when we went to days. Oh, wow. They just literally have... Okay, two out of three artifacts. Sure. That's fine. Uh, will I... Will I trade my hand kazoo for a foil card? Probably not. Hand kazoo is... Is a premium superpower. Is it? Yeah. It's almost as good as grabbing the exact number of bags I need when I'm bagging up bread. That was a super proud I had when I was a baker. Was it? Yeah. Fascinating. Or the superpower to know exactly how many slices of roast beef is in a pound. Could talk about your roast beef. Talking about I'm roast beef. I'm just sharing beef. all my uh, superpowers uh, with my friends. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. What we could do No, we can't do anything. This is this is really rough. Our mana is really constricted right now, like a like a dang snake. Talking about man, man. Yeah. We could vindicate this stupid metal worker. One, two, three, and then we still have we have blue. Two, th actually, we can go Tezzeret and vindicate this turn, I believe. Yeah, that's pretty good. But then they, we... actually, we want to kill the sword, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... I wish we had a second artifact. For more value. We can search for Black Lotus. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I hate that. One, two, three... Six mana. Dang. Could have tutored for Sphinx and cast this turn? Does it cost? It costs nine. Or it costs eight. It's five and three. Well, we have eight. Instead of Tezzeret, like, we could have been lightning tutored last turn and grabbed Sphinx. Yeah. Magic's hard, though, man. It is hard. We I, can still do that. Yeah. If that sword lands a hit, a lot of your desk... Well, my desk is fine. <laughs> my desk ain't you, going anywhere. You know what he meant. Do I? They got Forge Master in hand that, that we know of. Oh, yeah. We want to keep Tez alive, I think. So we're going to yeah. vindicate the sword. He's dead either way, right? Because we don't have block. Well, if they, if they attack with everyone, he is. Yeah. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could have tutored for Moat, searched for Lotus with Tezzeret, and then cast Moat. That is also a play we could have done, but... Yeah, I think we actually did the worst possible play here, but... Yeah. Yeah, all right. So we're, we're in the moment, so... We're also talking and joking, and everyone's having a good... Everyone's having a good time. Sure. Chat, let me know if you're having a good time. Give me a woo. That was what we wanted, actually. That's pretty good. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. We need to kill this Forge Master. Do we? Do we really care about it? He's, he's the, the artifact deck. He's got to have like a blight steel or something sad. 
One, two, three, four, five. We can also play Blood Fast, but it doesn't seem great here. The problem is if we search for a Moat with Enlightened Tutor now, uh, we don't have the second white to cast it, so... We're just going to draw a moat, so it's going to be fine. Here we go. Something bad's happening. He's tapping mana, so I'm alright with it. He could be tapping creatures, like that guy over there. Oh, he's face fettering. That's, it's that's not, annoying. It's not terrible, though. Like, yeah. All things considered that they could have done this turn. It's not really the worst. Yeah. We're just going to draw a moat, so we're, we're fine. doesn't matter. Nothing matters. My question is, do we actually tutor for it this turn? Because Oh, they're keeping their Kaldatha Forge Master alive. That's Well, yeah, they're going to tap it and grab a big dumb, dumb, dumb. A big dumb, dumb, dumb. Yeah, you know. Can we enlighten tutor for anything valuable here? Uh... Is animate dead good? Actually, we can enlighten tutor for one, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually get Sphinx of the Steel one here. Yeah. And still cast it. That's, That's pretty good, but if they get blight steel, it's actually terrible. So, an important poll, please vote. Thanks. Wow, which mic is the best? Ultimate mic, swole mic, or hat mic? Oh, they're just doing this now. Well, now, now we get a uh, now peek we know, at the future. Yeah, now we get to know what we have to. Oh, that's a peek at the future I didn't want to see. I see. Wow. Yep, you got it. Cool. I'm having a good time. Uh, Armageddon's have not been good. Yeah. I'm going to go to the next game because this is not fun. Okay. We're going to take Armageddon out. That's not it. What else do we take out? We took out the moat. I think moat's actually relevant here. True name is probably very, very good. Fiend Hunter is actually probably fine. They probably don't have ter a tremendous amount of answers for Fiend Hunter. I don't actually like Port either. I think I'm just going to bring in another mana for Port. All right. Let's do it. Let's let's go team. Hands in. Hands in. Hansen's not here. They I don't even know if they're banned anymore. No, put 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 your your hand on top of mine. No, it's, it's too intimate of a moment for us to share. All right. Eight votes, and there's 181 people here. Monsters don't even care about the mic hierarchy. What's uh, who, who would you vote for? Well, I mean, I, I feel like I'm a little biased here. Swole Mike, then? Well, I mean, let's vote for Ultimate Mike. He's the original Mike. I'll vote for Hat Mike. Okay. Hey, wow, look at this, look at this trend. Yeah, dude. It, it's almost like they've had more time with Ultimate Mike. They had a it's little. True. They had a little bit less time. Ultimate with Mike, Mike has all the meats on him. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate Mike is is uh, very far ahead now. Oh wow, this this poll is changing by the second. Lotus, Gideon. That's kind of like Lotus. Talking man, 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 man. The Mycocracy. Play important in a three-color deck is fine. Yeah. I'm going to disagree with you. It's fine. We're going to play that Tangle Wire, right? I'm playing it right now. Aren't All you right. Aren't you watching me play it? Yeah, I am. I'm here watching you play that. I'll get my Tangle Wire on. Can we quote the same? Also, Mike having all the meats on. <laughs> well, I didn't say on him. They could be on him. They could be in him. He, he, could... he just has all the meats. Wow, they killed. They disenchanted our guy. Yeah, they were like, take a wire I'm fine with. I just really don't want to take three. A three three power, one toughness creature. This guy's surprisingly good, I think. Yeah. I think he's actually... Because no one wants to deal with it. Yeah, because he's like, yeah, he's got one toughness. He's an artifact. Probably cost them two life. I'm an artifact, Greg. Can you milk me? What? Exactly. All right. Uh, we'll go this one. Keep the white up in case you draw Enlightened Tutor or vin Vindicado. Vinda Avocado. Vinda Avocado, you too. Yeah, that's right. 
Tickets just... What do we do here? Windmill slam something good? Uh, I mean, are we getting... We're getting, like, th three lands, right? Do we just vindicate one of his things? I'm real tempted to. Yeah, let's just vindicate one of his things. So you got... Yeah, we'll just get rid of this this guy. One, two, three. <sighs> I'm gonna wreck him! Oh, no. My lands. That's correct. Talking about all your lands. I'll just tap this guy, because that's how we do. And then we'll play... Oh, maybe Ooh. it's that guy. It's that guy. Grab, like, something. I wish I knew. I am loyal. My vote is for Scryfall Ken. <laughs> Oh, lordy. Is it, it's one of these two. It's got to be a threat, right? Yeah, probably. And then we'll we'll back it up with Tezzer next turn, grabbing something nice. Get a little something nice. Get a little something nice for yourself. A little something, something nice for yourself. We could have untapped Tanglewire with Tezzer. That is not wrong. And then next turn we can make it a 5-5 five, five right before it dies because it has no counters on it. Yeah, it's fine. Is it? Yeah. Goal Gary? Goal Gary. What's Gary's goal? Goal, Gary. Goal. Goal, Gary sounds like an online program that you use to uh, set goals for yourself and try to accomplish them. Did you guys download the latest version of Goal, Gary? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can also just play Moat, and then you're like, what do you do then, nerd? Y'all, you're to use your disenchant. <laughs> Goal, Gary, Glenn Ross. You think there'll be shocks in RT, RT, RT? Uh, probably. How many? Wait, shock lands? No, probably not. When was the last time? Wait, they were just printed recently. Maybe? I don't, look, I don't know. I'm going to go with, I don't know. They're going to have try, they're going to be try shock lands. Try shock lands. That's my advertising campaign. <laughs> try shock lands. <laughs> try shock lands. They're the shockiest. They're the, the landiest. Oh, wait, what did I do here? What's going on? We tap this. Play this guy. Search for a thing. I don't know what we have in our deck. I always forget. Uh... Loads? No, I don't want Lodestone. I might be able to untap my Grimmonolith next turn. Maybe we just untap Tezzeret now. We can't untap Tezzeret. Or untap, untap uh, Grimmonolith now. And then, and then do... Fancy boy, fun stuff. Search for Black Lotus and Moat. They don't have hasty creatures, so I'm not too concerned with that. Um, how about just Tide's Hollow Scholar? Yeah, that's that's a pretty good one. We also get a peek at the rest of our deck. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Smokestack, Sphinx, Lodestone. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, all right. Let's get tidy. Tide Arena. Oh, wow. Sundering Titan. You know, one, two, three, four, five. Batter Skull you can play. Elspeth you can play if you get it. I'd rather just take your Elspeth, because that card's very good. Yeah. That's the only card I'm really scared about. And we're we're gonna race against Batter Skull anyway, so. And we also have Moat. We can just play a Moat. Listen, man, I don't want to hear about Moat. Why? It's right there. I know about it. I've acknowledged it. I don't know what you're saying right now. I'm not saying anything. Don't worry about me. I'm not worried about you. Trust Why me. Why are you not worried about me? You're my father. You should be more concerned about what I'm doing. You're I, old enough. I could be out there doing all the drugs. You're not doing any drugs. I... You don't know. Show me the drugs you're doing. That's a coaster. God, he is on the drugs. <laughs> it's all clear to me now. <laughs> Alright, so we know you drew a land. Alright, Porcelain Ligi. Metal Worky. Porcelain Ligi and Metal Worky. Oh, hey, we can we can grab a Sphinx Man with that. And then... Sphinx Man! Uh, I really don't care about anything. Actually, I don't want them to attack with this, I guess. I guess we can just force them to all go at Gideon, or we can just play Moat. Yeah, let's just play Moat. Chat, chat has been saying play Moat for, like... There you go, chat. Moat, moat, moat engaged. I'll tap, I'll tap my, my dude. Yeah. Must my boy. He's he's basically got vigilance. Yeah, except he also can't attack because of moat, so. 
That's basically vigilance. Hook me up. Hook me. Oh, never mind. Hold everybody to me. Do, 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 do. I guess they can Sundering Titan here, which is obnoxious. But we only have one planes. So they just go boop, boop, black, and they kill our black sources. That sucks. There are seven, though? Hmm. They might be dead. So, one, two, three. Same old song and dance. Sundering Titan still doesn't have float. Or reach a re reachy roo. Sky swimming. Do you feel this emotion? <laughs> I do. Oh, they didn't kill our black sources. That's interesting. I'm intrigued. They killed one of them. Right, but they could have killed both. They could have went swamp, island, plains. Maybe he felt like double blue was more important for us. I feel like that's stupid. See? Now you're just looking stupid. Attack! Actually, just kind of want to kill this guy. Destroy that guy! It's way better. <laughs> I agree with you. Attack! Alright, so we don't have Sundering Titan anymore. You don't have Sword. You have Batter Skull and whatever two cards you may have lucked into. Which one is going to be Face Fetters. Because we're going to have to deal with that so that they uh, so that we have to win the game after that. But Right. They didn't have it! We get to win the game! Holy cannoli! Whoa! Do we have Vindicate and Anguish in making in the deck? Yeah, we do. I feel like we're not drawing them we're not drawing very frequently. It. Dude, I feel like we have a lot of good cards in our deck and we've drawn, like, none of them. I want to I want to add this just for the Metal Worker, but it doesn't work. Yeah, because of mana abilities. Could use it on, like, a sword, though. We could, actually, Inquisition seems great here. Let's bring an Inquisition. We can get Metal Workers, Swords, Porcelain Legionnaires, all kinds of things. Fiend Hunter seems great. We also didn't draw that. Abyss probably seems weak. A beast, a beast does seem weak. I don't know why we left that in. Oh, we can also name Elspeth. That's true. I'll bring that in. Lodestone Golem seems pretty weak, too. person said they said Inquisition last game. Wow, it's almost like it's almost like I can't read all of the chat all the time. Why not? Because I'm not I'm not subhuman, Nick. Hat Mike. I think you've seen every card in the deck multiple times except Fiend Hunter and Inquisition. I I've never seen True Name Nemesis. Uh we saw Anguish Making once. once. Uh saw the Jace the one time we saw Jace was when we got it killed on turn one. Alright, maybe we have seen all the cards, and I'm just stupid. I agree with you though. No, I feel like we haven't seen we haven't seen them, like... The times that we've seen them, I feel like we've won. Uh, Spyglass, I don't think, stops Metal Worker, because it doesn't stop mana abilities. Is that a mana ability on Metal <clears throat> Worker? I'm pretty sure it is. It's got mana symbols on it. Right, but, like, Wall of Roots isn't. Oh, that's weird. This is a mana ability. <laughs> okay, well, that's <laughs> all. Literally right there. That'll do. That'll do, pig. Yes, True Name has been hanging out on the sidebar. We boarded him in games, and we still never drew him, so. Yeah. Get wrecked. I don't see a Lotus, but I do see a Library, so that's a keeper. I do like Libraries. That's a Sniper. And they went to six. They're dead. They can't win. The game has ended. I understand that you can't see all of it, but I also understand I have unattainable expectations that are only inflated when I engage in Twitch. Fair. <laughs> I, uh, I, <laughs> I appreciate your, un your unattainable expectations. There's there's no feeling better than just being like, turn one up, Library of Alexandria, and then you're like, uh-oh. At the end of your turn, I'll draw a extra card. I feel like they tried real hard to make Library very balanced. They're like, you gotta have seven cards in hand. Like, you just, that's so, so many cards. We're gonna be discarding, so I'm just gonna play Grimmauld Yeah, exactly. Here. And then we're gonna play Tangle Wire next turn. Oh, we can just play it that. We could have played it that turn. We can still play it this turn, right? I already have six. Oh yeah, but never mind. It might just be better to go. Uh, f I have to. I have to find an answer to this guy. Uh, yeah, you do. <laughs> I mean, if we draw. Oh dang it! Oh dang it! We gotta play a blue. We gotta play a white source here. That's brutal. Wow, that's rough. We have no black cards in hand. I guess we're playing this. I mean, they have to tap four things down and they can't use the mana they get with Metal Worker, so that's pretty good. Do 
Discard's easy, but we don't. One, two, three, four. We're just looking for answers for old metal worky. Um, you first. Do we draw here? I don't even know, man. Uh, God, metal worker's oppressive, dude. We we probably draw. The thing is, if we draw Vindicate Weights, we're forced into playing Planes. I guess if we draw Vindicate anyway, we're... Yeah, like... Yeah, we're going to draw here. Okay, that's what we need. And now we need to draw... Like... But we're going to tap everything we have down, yeah. so we're going to be a turn behind. Black Source. Thirst for Knowledge. Okay, well, we get to play that. Discard Blood Fast. I don't foresee us needing that in this future. Yeah, we got Library. We're fine. This is where they go reveal four artifacts, play Sundering Titan. I they can only kill one planes, and they have to kill their own swamp. Yeah, I guess that's still pretty good. We can. And then we, well, then they we still need a black source. Again. We still need a black source here. Here we go. Here we go. Basalt monolith. All right, that's pretty good. And by pretty good, you mean not bad yeah. for us. Yeah. Okay. Tap you and you. The question is, do we draw again? We want to hit Black Source here. All right. Black that's, Source. That's what we wanted. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. We can also just Tide Hollow Sculler here. And take a little peeky at what they got going on. I'm not looking weird. I'm normal. I'm cool. He's not that cool. I'm very cool. Don't listen to Frank. The problem is, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they're going to cast whatever anyway, so. But the thing is, if we kill this, they're going to have to tap at least two. So then they have three, four, five, six, seven if they play a land. Right. So I actually do kind of like getting rid of this guy. All right. Because he's just a real pain in the A. In the a. He's just a butt man. He's just a butt man. That's... <laughs> he's just, that's just a butt man. Don't even worry about it. It's just a butt man. What are you even going to do? It's just butt man. Man, Nick has been getting torn into by chat. I almost feel bad for his hat wearing, hacky sack, and philosophy major homeless hipster Mike stand and sell. It's a good card. Wish we took that. I don't know what to do about that per se. Vindicate, I guess, off the top. That's, that's kind of like a vindicate. It's nothing like a vindicate. Hey, I mean, we got true name nemesis. That attacks it real well. It attacks it pretty averagely, I think. I think I would rather Sculler and True Name here. That was a good hit. All right. <laughs> you got to tap with the one a thing, huh? Swamp. Swamp, swamp. All right, so... I don't think we're in terrible shape, but this Elf is, Elspeth is pretty pretty obnoxious. Okay, so what they do? They play a Planes? How do they have an extra card in hand? Oh, did they have a Planes last turn? Okay. Wait. What did they reveal with this? Uh, they re revealed Vindicate, and that's all I saw. But, right, so... But that could probably be because they had a Planes in hand. And oh, um, Tidal re reveals their hand, and Tidal Skulls really continue okay, Swamp. So, swamp was so like, they still have Swamp in hand. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. When did you first start playing an FNM and what's your favorite card from that time? I have no idea. That's actually a good question. I don't know the answer to your to your question, my friend. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have seven mana if we don't activate. Do we just play Jason Gideon? I like Porcelain Legion. I like drawing the card, I'm gonna be honest. I like drawing the card and then seeing what we get. Yeah. And then maybe playing uh Jace Porcelain Legionnaire. Eh, Swamp seems fine here, I guess. God, Jace just dies. Though. Actually, we can plus Jace. And then we have two blockers. So Jace would take four. Uh, they have Shambling Vent. We just block Shambling Vent, I guess. And then Shambling Vent dies. Yeah. It's not terrible. We can also Thirst and hope there's a Sphinx of the Steel End. 
Then they just kill it with Elspeth. There's a lot of things going on. So I had my <laughs> first start playing it up and What was your favorite card from that time? Oh, boy. Um, so I first started playing in f ms like, around the time Zendikar came out. Um, and um, I guess my favorite card from that time is uh, Everflowing Chalice, because that's currently my favorite magic card. Really? Yeah, I love Everflowing Chalice, dude. I just... There was, there was a time in Cobblade Standard where my opponent tried to mana leak something and I had an ever flowing chalice for with seven counters on it and I was like what are you doing man what's the, what's the play here if we look at five we go to five right and we have two blockers so they can attack with everything we get to eat two guys and then Jace dies hey chal- also... chalice may be bad but that doesn't mean it's like not my favorite card I'd rather just get the value out of Jacing here oh just name Elspeth yeah just name Elspeth that's very very solid um, we're gonna go planes, planes on top, and we're gonna play Sorcerer's Spyglass, naming Elspeth. And we get to see your last card, which is a swamp. No, okay. <laughs> I was like, "What are you doing?" He didn't want us to name that, so he had access to mana. Elspeth, Sons, Chappy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Also, Tezzeret can uh, do a thing, right? Yeah, you can make it a 5-5. Five five. Actually, our board is... Is 5-5s? Five fives? Yeah, it's all 5-5s. Five fives. All well, the Tanglewire is going to go away. I didn't... I don't care. Stop it. Yeah, this is this is dead Jace. Which is fine. I like these, these weird, weird attacks. Thinking real hard about it. I mean, you only have to attack with three guys. Shambling Vent and two of these guys. Oh, yeah. th- these are going to my face? Yeah. Then, no, these are all, are they, oh, these two are going to my face. These are going at Jace. And then Shambling Vent is going at your face too? I see. Jace is dead either way, so. Yeah, so I'll just block one of these idiots. Hey man, Hydrated Bot's in here. Love you, hydrated bot. You're you're a good robot. Telling telling this guy to make sure he's drinking water. Actually, I wonder if we if we played Sorcerer Spyglass naming Shambling Vent. Is it non land? No, I, I've I've named Fetch Lands. I wonder if we could have done that and then uh, prevented them from killing the. No, because we wouldn't have had Porcelain Legionnaire, so they'd still have six guys and five would still yeah. go with Jace. Yeah, so we're we're just trading one for the other. So we play one, two, three, four, five. We play Tezzeret. We untap this, and then we can play Baneslayer afterwards. Seems good. Tezzeret goes to five. We have a bunch of blockers. We go block, block. Tezzeret takes four. Uh, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and we can also draw here, which is all I really want to do in Magic, so. Two, three, four, five. Tezzeret, Untap this and this guy again. Two, three, four, five. Bane Slayer. And we will get in. I'm tempted to just take out the Elspeth anyway. Because if they have Vindic- if they get their Vindicate back and then they get to... Yeah, we're just going to yeah. take out Elspeth. That feels safer. I'd rather have her in the graveyard than sitting on board just taunting us. Because we know we know we have a Vindicate under here. So if they get any way to deal with Tide Hollow Skuller, um, it's just real bad. You go, you go, hat, Mike. I don't even, I don't even like you, yo. That's really f- freaking good. And you can cast it. That sucks. That's obnoxiously good. Let's see, sweet top deck. We, uh, we can play Gideon and just make that. Yeah, not being it's a, not whatever. ideal, but now Tezzeret dies as well, so that sucks. It's like the best two for one you can ever get when you get porcelain. You get you get to kill Tezzeret and Baneslayer because of your top deck. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <sighs> one, two, three. Thirsting here. Well. Um. Dead. These two are basically dead. 
Yeah, One, so two. we might as well just discard those. Actually, but the problem is that if we discard Porcelain Engineer, we have enough cards in hand to, to library, which I think I'd rather do. Yeah. Right. I'd rather just have another, another look-see. Okay. Well, there's a lot of cards in our deck, and I don't know where they are. Do we vindicate something? I mean, if we're vindicating, it's vindicating our own Bansar Angel, and that's... Oh, we can actually... Let, how about we vindicate and then an animate dead? That's good. Yeah, let's do that. Black... White. I'll, okay, so yeah, we yeah, can we just, just do play it. land and do it. This Baneslayer Angel's really getting around town. What if we Vindicate Hostage Taker and then steal Baneslayer that way? Riskier. It gives them one turn to draw it out. But we do get a Hostage Taker out of it. So I like it just because I want to maximize the value and I don't care about, you know... I don't care about them drawing the card. We also have five minutes, yeah. so. And we still get to keep days just in case they do some shenanigans. That seems good. All right, we have five minutes, so I'm going to play a little faster then. All right. All right, just don't draw an answer for a hostage taker, and then we can get our Bane Slayer back. I also do like the Baneslayer being a 5-5 five, five if we're able to cast this. So Also, yeah, if he kills Hashtaker, we get Baneslayer. Is that true? Yeah, because it's owner. Oh, that's gas, then. We can also just block, then. That's actually almost better, right? Well, not anymore, because we're just going to cast it, but... Okay... Things are looking good. We have six cards, so we can't draw. But we are going to play a Gideon on the Germ. And... Sure, Germ it up. Alright, well, we're doing well. Whatever they put the batter skull on is just fine. If they put on this guy, we can trade. Doesn't seem great. Yeah, it's not super good. I guess we can just block with hostage taker. Yeah. And then we can in the future we can. Yeah, we're just whatever has the batter skull on it is not gonna do damage. Next step: make weather more cold, but not so cold. <laughs> I like it. That's a good one. We can, do we still have more step? We have like two steps in the queue after this. Yeah. I feel like as far as. Uh, stacks steps go this one was pretty okay i think yeah. this went well yeah it went well the we we didn't get to do all the things that we normally would do in a stack deck, but yeah that's it, it it worked a little bit <laughs> or we can just block blah, 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 blah. this feels bad i guess we can put hostage shaker back yeah, yeah that's fine it's his creature i don't like... like them gaining seven is really the problem i guess they, they're gonna, they do were gonna gain seven anyway. yeah that's way. a good point Try to cast a worm coil engine. Give me this. Give me some value out of this. This days. Oh my god! What if they do it? Can you imagine? Oh, that's really obnoxious. Boring. Nice top deck again. Oh, oh. <laughs> they said in in unison. Oh, that's really good. Also, now we can just block forever with true name, so that's totally fine. Yeah. And let's Take get that. let's get us a moat, I guess. Yeah, that's really good. We have nine cards left in our library. <gasps> wow, is this real? That's amazing. Moat. I will block. No block here too. We're also attacking with both and then remoting. Smart. And then if they they're just gonna top deck uh disenchant ready. Right? 
All right. Four turn clock. Rakdos Signet ain't gonna do it. That ain't a thing. What's what There's something tapping that oh, assault okay. monolith. That's smart. Is it? I mean, it is smart to use your mana to do things, I guess. <laughs> I agree. I like doing things with my manas. We have seven cards in our deck. One is just a top deck Sphinx of the Steel Wind waiting to happen. They have 21 cards. We have seven. My god. Yeah, well, Hey! Found it. Look at that guy. Didn't I say top deck Sphinx of the Steel Wind? Look at he's He's a good little guy. He is a good little guy. You're not wrong. The best part is that, like, even if they kill the moat, like, True Name Nemesis just blanks their... Their guy. Their, yeah, their whatever they have with Batter Skull on. This is game. This is amazing. We did it. What is even happening with, with real Yay. life? I don't think we're dead. Uh, hold on, they could Wrath here. Yeah, I was going to say Wrath. Good. Good games. Oh. Good games. Is this a 2 1? Yeah, I think we 2 1 with this. Look at these look at these beautiful flying babies. Ooh, got the 2 1. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys want to support the stream, you can hit up the Twitch profile or the Patreon link in the description below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, Hat Nick thanks you for your support. I'm Hat Nick now? Hat I'm Mike? not even Nick? You're not even your. You're Nick. You're Hat Nick. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.